Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, Rivian, once upon a time, $170 a share. Now down, just approaching a penny stock, $8.67, down 5% today. Well, it's fi- it's kind of, and it always has done, followed or thereabouts, Tesla. Uh, Tesla is down today. We know why Tesla's down. I've just done a deep dive onto Tesla. If you want to see that video, click above my head, down below in the description. I'll also put the links at the end of the video over here. You want to go and check that out. A lot of people have missed the point with Tesla completely. Very few people will, t- will tell you about it. And Rivian is following it because if Tesla goes down, Rivian goes down. It's the same thing. However, Rivian loses a lot of money when it sells a car. A lot of money. Look at Lucid. Look what's happened to Lucid. It's going private. It's going to go bust. The whole thing. There's no difference. Rivian is exactly the same. We see Rivians everywhere. Amazon every day delivered to my house. Every day. Yep, they deliver every day in a Rivian van. Yep, every day. And I actually sat inside a Rivian van. I like it. The driver likes it. If you want to see that video, click above my head. Yep, I jumped in an Amazon Rivian van. I'll put that over here as well. All right? Uh, at the end of the video, it'll be over here. Rivian van. Go and check that out. You don't want to miss it. Thank you, uh, is that Thosh, for your uh, uh, subscription. Thank you so much indeed. On our main channel. If someone subscribes to my uh, extra channel, it appears at the bottom of the screen. Oh, there's another one. It's a busy day. This is... Uh, the concern we've got here. Why is Rivian down when all this is happening? Look at this. Good news here. Just out a couple of days ago, uh, just before the weekend, right? Rivian accelerating into the big leagues. Summary. Rivian exceeded production and delivery goals in 2023, showing strong growth and improved margins. The overall demand for EVs is slow, but Rivian remains confident in its ability to enter the mainstream market. Rivian's focus on the truck market and its potential to improve margins make it promising company in the long run. So why is it down today? Well, it's got a lot to do with the macro conditions, what's going on uh, with the Middle East right now. This company's affected by that. Some companies are, some companies aren't. This particular one is. While many, while many investors became more pessimistic about the EV market, I think this, this, this uh, decreasing demand is a, t- is a temporary result of high production costs, um, making it unable to enter the general consumer market, but it is still bullish in the long term. Uh, I've covered Rivian multiple times, and last time I spoke of its high potential and risk-reward potential. Now I'm more confident than ever that Rivian can can survive in the competitive auto auto industry. Much improvements. Last year, for the first time, Rivian was able to exceed its production and delivery goal uh, set at the beginning of the year. Rivian guided a 50,000 production target in the beginning of the year. Uh, Rivian produced 57,233 vehicles that year. This is over 135% year-on-year growth. At the same time, the company increased its revenue by 167% and was not able to cut gross losses uh, at and was able to cut gross losses by almost 400 million compared to the same quarter last year. Despite producing and delivering more vehicles, proving that they have improved margins. In addition, uh, Rivian was able to increase revenue per vehicle by 15%, showing that demand remains high despite high interest rates. Overall, Rivian was able to improve gross profit by over 80,000 per vehicle. For next year, Rivian expects to deliver the same amount of vehicles but improve its EBITDA to 2,700 million uh, in uh, 2024 from 3,981 million. They also aim to achieve a modest gross profit in Q4. Stock still fell after earnings as a result of 13,972 deliveries compared to 15,000 in Q3. This is the EV demand issue that the investors were worried about. EV demand. Demand. This is what people are worried about. Will there be the demand for it like they that like there was last year? 2023 was an interesting year for EV to say to say the least. In a year of historically high interest rate, the S&P 500 climbed 24%. In addition, auto companies led by Tesla continue to slash EV prices. Still, the EV sector experienced a slowing growth and the market as a whole and less demand for EV on average. EV prices went down 22 percent compared to a year ago. Blimey. While some can can blame this on high interest rates, it does not fully explain the story. 
While EV, uh, while EV do EVs do cost more than regular cars, programs such as the Green Auto Loan makes financing an EV uh, twenty five to one hundred one hundred basis points less than regular car loans, along with lower EV prices. The decrease in demand does not correlate with increased costs. Instead, analysts say that the EV has fulfilled the market uh, of early adopters and is struggling to enter the market of mainstream buyers. In short, EV is still not EVs are still not completely accepted by the general public, and is not a problem that that is and is not a problem that could be solved with a matter of interest rates. Uh, there we go. Let me just cover this. How Rivian lines up in the market. Given I, st uh, given I still st uh, maintain a positive outlook for the EV sector, now I can, now I can, uh, now I sh shall explain why Rivian remains one of my few favourites to win the EV startup war. It's no surprise that it's very difficult for EV startups to enter. Um, to start uh, in, in the industry, especially with Tesla and its sophisticated production line, new EV companies leave no choice but to lose millions and billions keeping its vehicles competitive with Tesla. And I still believe that this period is coming to an end uh, for Rivian. Over the last year, Rivian improved its gross profit per car delivered per uh, by over eighty thousand dollars. Now, if you're thinking, go going, what do you mean it improved its position uh, profit to eighty thousand? It's because it was losing a lot more than that. It has improved, no doubt about it. It's still losing money, however, but it's losing a lot less money. So it's regarded as a as an improvement by eighty thousand dollars, and it's looking to reach positive gross profit by the end of 2024. That would be an Massive turnaround and would be very, very good for the stock, no doubt about it. As a result, the net loss for the company uh, decreased by 1.3 billion to 5.4 billion. So again, losing money, but losing less money as we go on in time. In addition, Rivian poured into its research and development in the fourth quarter compared to the same quarter before. This is a company that is not afraid to continue uh, deeply investing in the EV sector, while its decreased margins are as a result of the aggressive investments it has made. This stands particularly impressive as many big auto companies' margins decrease through the same period, such as Tesla year on year for 2024. That is not really a good comparison, though, because uh, their margins have decreased, but they're making money, though. So they're making less money and Rivian is, is losing less money. So what, what is really happening, it's not that Rivian is doing better than, than Tesla, it's Tesla is able to reduce its uh, uh, profits and still make profits. What it means is the gap is closing. The gap is closing between Tesla and Rivian. It's not that Rivian is doing uh, so much better than Tesla. It's doing better than itself. That's what it's all about. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go back and look at the ratings right now. As you can see, we've got ratings here. Uh, uh, we've got uh, Seeking Alpha are saying hold, Wall Street saying buy, and uh, Quant is uh, saying a strong sell. Uh, I would not regard this as a sell at all. I think that would be crazy to do that. But there you go. Um, so let's have a look at how the how the grades have changed for the stock. Um, if you if you like this, look. Let's have a look at the grades. How things have changed over time. Valuation uh, six months ago was uh, C minus, then C, now B minus. Valuation is improving for for Rivian, no doubt about it. The growth A minus. A and now D. Um, so we're slowing down in growth. Profitability F hasn't changed. A momentum, B minus, D, and now down to F, um, uh, uh, which kind of makes sense. Revisions, uh, B, B, and now C. So they, they, that gives you an idea of how the... Um, how the, the market is looking at it. But what's important is the valuation. Uh, the stock is now a better buy than it has ever been. All right. There you go. All right. Just a little thought there on Rivian for you today. It is going down. Uh, things are, the gap is narrowing between Rivian and Tesla. I don't know though if it can survive. Um, 
If you like Rivian 170, of course, you love it now. Shall we have a quick look at the short interest on the stock? Let's see what Rivian's short interest is looking like. R-I-V-N. I'll do this in real time. Let's have a little look. Uh, we've got a valuation here, which is... Um, it's not that re reliable, though. I will share with you what it is. Rivian's valuation is saying $32 a share. However, there's no DCF, relies own, it doesn't have DCF valuation. So it's not that reliable. What I'm really interested in is the, uh, we know about all the profits, the margins. What I am interested in uh, is this. Profitability score is 20. Solvency is 45. Uh, you know, it's got a short-term debt solvency, which is good. Low DE, negative net debt. All this is good. It's got a 45% uh, solvency score. It's not going bust today, but uh, it's losing money very, very quickly. But it's improving. Maybe this is a big drop before the rally. Uh, we do see some good upside here. Wall Street are giving it uh, on an average 119%. We've got a 336% on the um, on the uh, the highest level, uh, the 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 high forecast. But what I'm interested in is the uh, inside trading and short interest. Short interest is now 20.89. Now then. We are now in short squeeze territory. Anything above 20% is extreme. If we do get huge volume, well, on the next earnings, we've got earnings season literally starting this week. Uh, if you'd like me to cover your favorite stock, uh, there are earnings every day now, opening uh, pre-market and after hours, members and members only. You can super chat me to do uh, earnings for you. I will get I will get up early and I will or I will stay on late in the evening and I will do your favorite stock. Members only. If you super chat me, I will do the earnings for you. It's a requested thing an event. I will come on early or go late for you. There are there are earnings every morning and every night now for the next few weeks. Uh, it's earning seasons again. So Rivian will be reporting. Now, if Rivian can report some good numbers and we've got a short, a, short, a good short position here and with some good volume, this stock could rally very, very, very quickly. We've seen it. We, we know how it went to 170. It could do that. Insiders have been uh, selling. So they're looking to start buying. What comes next after selling is buying. But I will say that these numbers are very, very small in comparison uh, to the stock itself. This is just normal, uh, normal selling. Uh, this is just tax stuff that they don't even, they don't even probably aware of. A monthly thing that happens, not really that much. Of it. This is very small numbers in comparison to how big this company is. Uh, so we're looking to start seeing the company buying in. But remember, they didn't buy it at 170. They bought it pennies on the dollar um, when they first bought it. So maybe they bought it for lower than it is today. Anyway, we shall see. Uh, we shall see. Um, so there you go. There's a little bit on Rivian today. We do, we do have earnings season around the corner. If you want me to cover the earnings for it, uh, if, if we get a good earnings flipping heck, this could uh, go into short squeeze territory in seconds because the volume on this stock, we know what the volume can do here and we know it could come back very, very quickly. There's Rivian. A little update on Rivian today. Still, still going down, down 6%. How much lower can it go? Click above my head, down below in the description, over here and over here for more information on Rivian. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.